Hi, Sue. Um, I figure it will be easier to just show you how to use um, do the crop. So, also gives me an opportunity to try out this um, capture program. Anyways, here's um, the selection of my pictures. Um, I have a combination of horizontal and vertical pictures. Um, Trevor only wants um, only the horizontal pictures crop. So there's a couple ways to do this. Um, the mo the easiest way I'm going to do it is I'm going to just filter using the metadata, filter on only the meta in, um, on the horizontal pictures. So to do that, I go to I have a tab up here saying metadata. Um, right now I have this disappeared, so I hide it. So I go to metadata. Oops, that didn't quite work. Zoom in. Metadata. And once I have my metadata, you will get a series of boxes here. Each one of these contain the filters uh, of my pictures that are being displayed of the minute information. In this case, uh, shoot, deny this. Um, so what I'm going to do here, it doesn't really matter which one you want, but it's basically a tree structure. So if I, in this case, I'm select 2005, I have all my pictures of 2005. Like so. Once again, I could go back to all my 22 pictures. Seems awful low. So, if I want to change my library filtering, I just go to the title, select and you get a drop down. So I'm going to select aspect ratio that you, right there. And now I have landscape and portrait. So I select landscape and now I have all my, I'm only viewing all my landscape photos. Now, now if I turn it off, hide it, it goes away. Now it's back. So let's give a little bit of real estate here. So we have it there, and also I'm going to make these a little bit smaller by adjusting the thumbnails action right there. Like so. So th these pictures I have already cropped to a certain place, to a certain level, and the first thing we're going to do here is I want to reset all my um my my cropping so first i select them all and go into So now I have all the I going Lightroom has the ability to do the same operation multiple times to the pitch, the various pictures. In this case, to do this, I will select my sync, check off all, and what I want to do is assure that all my crop ratio. I don't want to worry about straightening aspect ratios are set correctly. Now I go to the crop tool which is R or just square dotted line. So I hit R and now I have my aspect ratio. So now I will go to select this right here
and select 1080 16 by 9 19 by 1080 this is the ratio he wants for horizontal oh I forgot to do something here so the first thing I gotta do here is close this bring this up reset come on reset and this button here allows me to do um, auto select so basically what will happen now any actions I do here they will be recorded applied to all these images also there so now everything is set now I go to my asset ratio is set everything to 1080 P and you see that all of the pictures are being changed now and I say done now we just coarsely applied the crop to in this case 18 photos and may not be the, the most ideal crop so I'm going to readjust my crop my crops so here that's good we're done with you also I turned off my auto sync turn on my crop That's good. And now I just simply going around and checking that I like these crops. So in this case, in my reset, I uh, I lost my straightening in this photo. So now I'm going to straighten it. Pet the measuring. That's done. And I just simply going through now some of the pictures will crop you end up losing stuff like this one and I guess that's the nature of the beast as much as we were taught to shout before our pre crop do our cropping in the camera we are now doing the opposite that's good that's good that's good now I made so basically this picture I'm due to the ratio I can't use it because it's it's ratio is actually bigger than that so I gotta remove it from my collection and not use it we just going to reset you back to the original and we will do that later
now I'm just going to do all I have to retouch this in Photoshop because this stuff uh, where are we right here that looks good a little bit too much foreground bring that up Voila. And now how you now we go back to our grid by pressing G. I just gonna make these a little bit smaller so I could see everything. And now we have everything set up.